Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Jordan Van Forest and Igor Kenkin. This is a game from World Rapid Chess Championship played in Saudi Arabia in 2017. Jordan Van Forest had white pieces and he started with e4. Igor Kenkin played c6. d4, d5, the Karokan defense. Knight to c3, d takes on e4, knight takes on e4, bishop to b5, developing the bishop before playing e6. Knight to g3, but now bishop is the target. Bishop to g6, h4, the most popular move, threatening h5. h6, white move. Knight to f3 is the most played move. Jordan Van is played knight to h3, intending knight to f4, and getting the knight closer to the black king. Knight to f6, bishop to c4, knight from b to d7, knight to f4, threatening knight takes bishop, bishop to h7, and Jordan Van Forest cast at king's side. e6, rook to e1, lining the rook with the black king. How important is that? This position was seen before. And the two most played moves are bishop to e7, and queen to b6. In our game, Igor Kankin played bishop to d6. The question is, why this move was not played before? Is something wrong with this move? What would you do in this position? If you had white pieces, please pause and find the best move for white. What did you find? Let's take this move back. There was a game in 2014 between Booty and Ponzo. In this position, have it. White pieces, Booty, sacrificed the bishop on e6 and won the game in a brilliant style. Let's take it back. What about queen to b6? A queen to b6, then the sacrifice on e6 doesn't work. Let's have a look. If knight takes on e6, f takes on e6, rook takes on e6, check. King to d8. So queen to b6. When black played queen to b6, he made room for the king to go to d8. Back to our game. In the game we have bishop to d6 and you have now an idea what is going to happen. There is going to be a sacrifice on e6. Which piece would you sacrifice? Knight takes on e6 was played. Is this the move that you would play too? If it's not, don't be sad. Because bishop takes on e6 also works. It wins the pawn. The best move for black is castling. And then bishop to f5. So white is better without much risk. In the game we have knight takes on e6, f takes on e6, rook takes on e6 check. Attacking the bishop, bishop to e7. Knight to h5, threatening knight takes pawn on g7 check. How should black continue. Well, one way is king to f8, defending the pawn, but then knight comes to f4, and white has a compensation for a sacrifice piece. What else can black play? Another move is bishop to g8, attacking the rook, but play with black pieces probably didn't like this continuation. Knight takes on g7 check, and after king to f8, queen to e2, king takes on g7, rook takes on e7, and black king is quite exposed. Back to our game. In the game we have knight takes on h5. Is that the best move? It may not be the best move, because it helps white queen to get closer to the black king. Queen takes on h5 check. King to f8. White played a move and black resigned. 
and the move is rook to f6 check. Black resigned in view of this continuation. Something takes rook. What is that something? Pawn, knight. Knight takes on f6 and there is checkmate in one. Queen, two, f7, checkmate. Short and sweet game from the World Rapid Chess Championship 2017. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.